Hello, this is Samantha Nolan Smith, CEO and founder of the School of Visibility. And today we're talking about why, what gender conditioning does to our understanding about taking up space and then how that impacts on the success or otherwise of your business. So I was just in a workshop with our Women Speaking Up students and we were talking about this issue and we were, we started by talking about how, uh, about taking up space from the perspective of the size of women, physical space. So I was quoting from Roxane Gay and, um, and she has a book called, she has many wonderful books, but one of them is hunger a memoir of my body and in that she talks about physical size of a female form and she says even at that young age I understood that to be fat was to be undesirable to men to be beneath their contempt and I already knew too much about their contempt this is what most girls are taught that we should be slender and small that we should not take up space we should be seen and not heard. And if we are seen, we should be pleasing to men, acceptable to society. And most women know this. We are supposed to disappear. But it's something that needs to be said loudly over and over again so that we can resist surrendering to what is expected of us. So we can resist surrendering to what is expected of us. So this thing of... We're expected to be slender and small. It applies to the physical form, but it also applies to our personalities. We're supposed to stay slender and small. We're supposed to be meek and mild. We're not supposed to be loud and boisterous and taking up space in conversation or in company, in amongst other people. Not that loud woman, that too bossy woman, that too ambitious woman. We're not allowed to take up too much space in meetings and so all of this conditioning is something that we've all grown up with we've all lived with for a very long time and it in term, and we it is all but impossible to not take on some of that conditioning even when we're fighting against it it is so pervasive that it seeps in and makes us apologize a lot more than we need to we're like oh sorry i've you know sorry please go first oh sorry i've taken up too much time of too much of your time i'm sorry i've taken up too much space whether that's physical space noise space just space in general and then if you start to run a business you're actually told the opposite you're told take up space take up space and you actually need to take up space in order for people to know that you exist. You need people to know what your business is. You need people to know what your business does, who it serves. You need people to know what the products are that you have so that they can make decisions about whether or not you're the right business to resolve the issues that they're having in their lives. And so you have to keep showing up and keep showing up and keep reminding people because the world is noisy and they're not going to, it's so easy for them to, to sort of miss you if you only do that occasionally they are very unlikely to hear you or see you so there's a needing to step up and take up space and step up and take up space and step up and take up space and of course that goes completely against the conditioning that you may have received as uh in the world that you most likely have received about being a woman in the world so first thing to say is next time you feel uncomfortable when you're like, oh, here I go, I have to promote my, you know, offering or, and I'm, I know that people have said do more lives or do more reels or do more this, do more that. And you feel uncomfortable, know that there's a reason that you feel uncomfortable. It's because it's clashing up against specific conditioning that you've received for many, many years. Know also that it is, revolutionary for you to choose to speak up anyway you disrupt the status quo every time you choose to speak up anyway know that it is likely to be uncomfortable and that there are tools that you can use to lessen that discomfort to get to the point where you can walk comfortably through the earth as yourself without regard 
for this systemic messaging that is so pervasive. That's what we exist to do at the School of Visibility. We have a free masterclass at the moment to help you along that path. The link, I think it's sort of connected to this video. I, I told Facebook to add a link, so let's see if that actually works. Uh, the link, if you get lost at all anywhere, if that's not true, I'll pop it into the comments if I see that it's not there or just go to theschoolofvisibility.com and look for, for business women and you'll find the free masterclass there. It's called Five Unconventional Tips to Becoming More Visible in Business. I'd love to hear your comments, your feedback, your thoughts, what it is, uh, what this issue of taking up space, how it has impacted on your experiences in the world, whether through business or it impacts on every single personal intimate relationship we have in so many ways, uh, from the way that we converse with friends, how much uh, we feel comfortable about asking for things that we want, impacts on our sexual lives, impacts on our professional lives how much space we choose to take up in meetings and then the more shut down we are to that the more triggering it is to see other women speaking up and claiming space and that's a whole other issue that we can go into another time uh, so if you want some more assistance with that and you haven't taken our masterclass, please jump over to the link and do so. I know that one of the students today mentioned that she really attributes the um, failure of one of her businesses to this very issue of just feeling so deeply uncomfortable about speaking up and taking up space. I do not want that for you or for any woman in the world, because I genuinely believe that the more women we have running businesses, building wealth, the more we will change the face of our societies. And that is what I'm very excited about. Okay, I'll see you again soon. And uh, thanks as always for being here.